Greetings friends, it's Lex again and holy hell, literally, Blizzard has actually done it, they have done it. Diablo 4 for the first time has actually something that is truly unique and new, well new. Uh, the rune words, you might be familiar with them from Diablo 2, it's actually an old system that Diablo 2 already had. But there is no other system like this in existence right now. Now Path of Exile has a somewhat similar system with the gems, but these are also your, your skills directly, so it's a bit different. But the rune words are actually coming to Diablo 4. Yes, it has been confirmed. So what is, what is it actually? You can literally create your own skills. What this does, for example, you have always, it's always two runes because you know in your items, uh, you have two gem slots at the max for some items, right? And um, these runes are now in the same sort of area as socketable items. These are socketable items. You will find these throughout playing the game. And there's always two, you need two. And that is you have a trigger, for example, back. That's the room called back for some reason. And once you traveled five meters, you gain offering. And then you have, um, like for example, this would give you 50 offering or whatever. And then you have a rune that does something, that executes something, which is the second rune. You put them both together in your item. And then this rune does something once a offering threshold is achieved. So let's say this, for example, does replace your next evade with the sorcerer's teleport, blinking further, dealing damage and becoming unstoppable. This, by the way, doesn't matter which class you are. Yes, you heard that right. Even if you are a necromancer or barbarian or whatever, you can use the sorcerer's teleport with those runes. And there's a bunch of other things. You can even use the earthquake from the barbarian in your sorcerer, whatever. It's actually crazy. You can literally create your own spells in all the classes. So all the classes get a lot more spells with this because basically teleport and earthquake and whatnot is now shared amongst all classes if you have the runes. This opens so many possibilities for crazy builds. I like this a lot. This gives the game a lot of depth actually because now you can really go deeper in specific builds that only work with that rune combination for example. And I think that is absolutely insane. Such a great change. So many builds we can make with this. Lovely. Now I hope again because you know Diablo 4 has this this old problem of there's only one to three builds really viable per season everything else kind of sucks. Um, I hope this gives us the possibility that more builds will be viable through these things. Uh, we go in a second over what actually is all in there but um, just to get the idea. For example this would say you need a hundred offering and this one gives 50 offering once you travel five meters. So what you do then once you travel 10 meters and the next evade will be replaced by teleport. Okay, very simple. Just walking, you will have the ability to teleport. You can also think of Earthquake, for example, we saw a Barbarian doing this. Just walking or even blinking through, or like leaping um, through the map, you get this trigger going and then there is an autocast of Earthquake, for example. You just, so you don't even have to do something. The Earthquake will be autocast every time you just walk around. That is kind of crazy. I like these a lot. And this is a great system. And by the looks of it, it's also pretty powerful. So let's actually look over what they and actually added the offering here and the cooldown, of course, um, what they added. So the ritual runes, that's the ritual runes and the invocation runes. Ritual runes obviously are the one where you gain your offering. And the invocation runes are the ones that do something. And as you can tell, there's also there's rare and legendary and magic. So blue, rare is yellow and legendary orange. So let's actually go first to how we gain our offering. And I'm not going to go with all of them, but the legendary ones are, of course, interesting. Cast a, a skill with a cooldown, so literally pretty much most skills, gain 50 offering. That's crazy. So you can now think, think about, for example, you're just casting your skills anyway in your build, and now you can have an extra skill on top that is auto-cast just by you casting skills. So. Let's actually think about it. Let's think, for example, think of the Lightning Sorcerer, where we cast our Lightning Spear a lot. That is a skill with a cooldown, right? This gives us 50 offering. Now let's say, um, for example, Barbarian's Warcry. That's kind of crazy. You could, for example, get the Warcry from the Barbarian, increasing your movement speed and damage dealt with 500 offering. So that's 10 Lightning Spears cast, then you order cast the Warcry, Warcry giving you more damage. Just think about it, it's kind of crazy. 
400 offering, gain plus 3 to all skills for 5 seconds. Crit chance increase up to 25 because this can stack. Just 25 offering, you will already, already have 2 stacks with just one of the, the thing above. Crazy. And this is just a magic one, by the way. Legendary. Your next skill cast will be a guaranteed critical strike and overpower. Damn. It's also insane. Evoke the Druid's Earthen Bulbor, granting yourself a barrier. This can be great for the Sorcerer, by the way, to make it more tanky. Um, that's crazy stuff. And this was just the first one. You can tell, this is a lot, I don't even know how many there are, like 30-ish, 20, 30, somewhere between 20 and 30. Together with, that's at least 50 invocation runes, I would say. So, what's the math on this, actually? I don't know. 20 times 30. That's 600 combinations. Is that even right, the math? I don't know, I'm, I suck at math, but whatever. I'm thinking at least 600 combinations you can do with all these. Now, not all of them make sense, obviously, but it's crazy. So let's look at what else we got. Gain a thousand offering. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, if you become injured or crown controlled, you gain a thousand offering. So basically, when you're almost dead or when you're stunned, you gain a thousand. And there's, I'm sure there's something crazy that gives you, like, for example, this will give you a barrier. Once you get 800, great. So you get auto barrier once you go. That's like the what's it called again? Um, endurance in last epoch, for example. You use active cooldowns with 100. Damn. So if you go, if you become injured, for example, you can get. Can this stack? Cool on one second. Okay, it can't. Too bad. Restore primary resource. Restore an evade charge and get movement speed. Maximum life for 20 seconds. Decrepify, Abhorrent Iron Maiden. Your next non-basic skill cast spends all of your prime resource to deal up to 100% increased damage. Damn. And you can even have more, right? We have... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we have two items that can have two... gems. If I'm not mistaken. In, so we can basically have two of these skills, so you can even combine them again. So that brings us up to 1,200 combinations, where you can, for example, if you go, if you become injured, you cast your barrier, and then you gain whatever else to survive. I don't even fucking know what it is. So there's unlimited possibilities here. Dodge chance, gain the shadow from the Rook's Dark Shroud. Evoke the Sorcerer's Mystical Frost Nova, inflicting freeze and vulnerable onto enemies. That's also great. Imagine this being on all other classes as well. Wall tanks, dancing bolts, the earthquake, there it is. Has a cooldown, but it's just 100 offering. That's not even that much. Stun grenades. You can even auto cast a meteorite. I actually want to do this because I think this actually makes the meteor build much better. It's just 25 offering. One second cooldown, but think about it. With this, you actually now have the ability to cast a ton of meteorites if you have the proper um, offering. 25 offering for this with one second cooldown. So let's say, for example, the cooldown um, invocation it was, right? Where was it? Cast a skill for cooldown. 50 offering. So that's twice what the meteorite, for example, needs. So when you cast any skill, you auto cast a meteor. Cast a nonchalant call skill. 25 offering. Any skill, you cast meteorite again. And this is also interesting. Evoke Paw from another class. So, for example, if you have your Teleport, like I say, you're not Sorcerer, like say you're Barbarian, you have your Teleport, then you gain 150 Offering because you evoke that, which gives you... And you can also cast from this another class, uh, cast or spell, whatever it is. For example, cast an Ultimate Skill. This example, 150. So let's say you use the Teleport and you can auto cast straight away the Ultimate from that. Just as an idea. As I said, this has unlimited possibilities. Now, a bunch of things also to mention before we go, go get lost in this, and this video is getting too long. Interesting parts. They are tradable. That's key. Runes stack and will be stored in a new circuitable inventory tab. New tab we gain from this. Uh, you can actually see it here. These are your runes, and they can stack. Well, that's also very useful. Socketables. Socketables. Maximum of two rune rods can be equipped, obviously four runes total that is. The same rune cannot be equipped twice, yeah, of course that makes sense. But also there's rune crafting. Runes can be used to craft other runes. You can rune three runes with the same name to craft a new rune. The rune created from crafting is guaranteed to be different than the ones used. That's nice. It reduces RNG. 
When non-legendary runes are used to craft, there is a chance to create a rune of the highest, next highest rarity. So you can basically farm or craft for the legendary ones. This one is the key thing though, you didn't even know this. Runes can also be used to craft mythics at the jeweler. Each one requires one resplendent spark, 10 legendary runes of a specific name, 10 rare runes of a specific name, and 10 magic runes. That's a lot of runes and one spark, but I mean, you get three sparks by just playing each season, right? And you need, you need four sparks so far for a mythic. Now you just need one spark and a bunch of runes, which you can craft quite easily, to create your mythic. So it's also easier to create mythics just with these runes. Boy, I'm hyped. This is such a great change or like addition. Rune words are going to be uh, fantastico. So tell me what you think of this. As I said, it's an old system from Diablo 2. They brought into Diablo 4 now. But this is going to be fantastic. Tell me what you think about it. And I will see you guys in the next video.